Hello everybody, this is uh, your Friday uh, social studies video. Um, we left off <clears throat> from all these new, ta about all, we were talking about all these new taxes Britain put on the colonists. Uh, they taxed them for basically everything. Um, you name it. Wool, paint, uh, glass, anything that you, know, you needed to buy. Tea, uh, sugar, um, just really, um, and it wasn't like a small tax. It was a, it was a big tax that people couldn't afford. So that's why they were so upset about it. All right. Um, so just like the Stamp Act, the colonists are going to fight back. Okay. They're going to say, okay, we're not going to, you're going to put more taxes on us now. We're not standing for it. So I'm on page 148. Okay. This is how you boycott something. Um, we have talked about boycotting before. Um, so if that word sounds familiar, it should sound familiar because when we're talking about civil rights, that's a lot of what uh, civil rights activists did. They boycotted things. Um, so for example, the buses, um, there was segregation and um, African-Americans weren't tr getting treated fairly. Uh, they had to sit at the back of the bus. Okay, if there was a, seat open a white person would take the front seat okay and they had to get up uh, from their seat if there was a, a white person getting on the bus um and uh they boy the um community um especially in alabama um really that's where it really started uh, they came together and they didn't ride the bus for over a year and they saw and it really hurt the bus companies because they depended on their business, but they were really um, serious about their, you know, they wanted their right to ride the bus just like anybody else. Okay. Um, just like, you know, any other citizen. Um, so it does work. And they, they did peaceful protests and, you know, boycotting, meaning they didn't use that service, the, the bus service. So that's just an example. Okay. Um, so now back to this time period, which is a lot longer, a lot farther back than we were talking about civil rights were just in the 60s. My dad grew up during, you know, during the 1960s. So now we're back to our uh, country, you know, is uh, not formed yet, but we're getting, um, let's say, un more unfriendly as the days go by with Britain, Okay. So on page 148, it says protests and boycotts spread throughout the colonies. More and more men and women joined the effort. Mercy Otis Warren, a writer from Boston, was the wife of a Massachusetts politician. Through her poems, plays, and historical writings, she actually prompted opposition to the British. In perhaps her most famous poem, she encouraged people to boycott tea and other imported goods. We'll quit the... We will quit the useless vanities, which is, means unnecessary items, of life, she wrote. In Newport, Rhode Island, a group of women known as the Daughters of Liberty began we weaving their own cloth. They organized spinning bees where women could come together and spend hours spinning wool yarn. That way they wouldn't have to buy the British wool. Others found ways to substitute homemade items for imported goods. For example, people began making liberty tea a tea using plants from North America. They drank it instead of the imported British tea. Okay, so um, we already have a, a flow chart to fill in here, okay? The ca cause and effect. The cause is the colonists boycott uh, taxed wool from Britain. So the effect is um, the Daughters of Liberty uh, begin uh, weaving their own cloth, okay? So they won't have to buy it for... Um, from uh, Great Britain, okay? Um, okay, so let's write Daughters of Liberty begin weaving their own cloths.
Okay, so weaving just means sewing. Okay, it's another word for sewing your own cloth. So, uh, like I said, the co cause was the colonists boycotted um, tax. Uh, again, I'm reading backwards. Colonists boycott taxed wool from Britain. So uh, the effect is the Daughters of Liberty began weaving their own cloth. Okay. Daughters of Liberty began weaving their own cloth so they don't have to buy Britain's goods, okay, and pay the taxes on them, okay? Second example we have is colonists boycott imported British tea. So what did they do? We just read about it. Um, they found uh, ways to make their own tea, okay? So they used plants from North America to make their own tea. Used plants from... North America to make their own tea. Okay? That's your answer for the second part of the flow chart. Okay, colonists boycotted the um, imported British tea. So they just decided to uh, use plants from North America where they were living uh, to make their own tea. So again, they didn't have to pre depend on British uh, products and pay, pay the taxes, okay? All right. So after all of this, all this protesting and boycotting and um, complaining, uh, the Townshed Acts are repealed mostly, it says. I'm on page 149, okay? The boycotts were successful, it says. Many British merchants lost money. In an attempt to limit the protest, the British government sent warships and troops into Boston Harbor in 1768. The troops did not stop the colonists, and the British merchants continued to lose money. They asked Parliament to repeal the Townshed Acts. In 1770, Parliament agreed. It repealed all of the taxes except the tax a tax on tea. Um, now, if uh, you guys might not know a lot about uh, British culture, um, I'm not sure how much you know, but uh, British tend to Britons tend to like their tea. Um, uh, you notice in American culture, we, we tend to like our coffee, okay? A lot of people say they can't get started without the day, day without, you know, a cup of coffee. Uh, that's kind of how they are with tea, okay? They always, they, they're always drinking tea. It's, uh, it's a cultural thing, okay? So this was still significant that they were still taxing the tea because they consumed a lot of it, okay? So they still had to spend money on tea. So, through, uh, though American colonists had won a victory over British Parliament, problems remained. Tea was still taxed. British troops were still in Boston, and colonists were still angry. And in the next few years, the trouble got worse. So, bringing warships is not going to... Um, we talk about this uh, in class a lot, even with you guys. Um, if you guys are... Uh, mad at each other, or just anyone's mad at each other in general, um, it's generally not going to help if you, you know, uh, put uh, more acts of aggression out. So by Britain bringing warships in, that's kind of, uh, that's kind of a big threat. So um, nothing good's going to come from that, okay? Um, that that I think was you know one of the main things that like really scared the colonists and um, made them angry because they they viewed themselves as Britons um, and they were upset that they didn't have these rights that Britons that were living in England had okay and now they're almost being like babysitted you know like they have these warships like in case they get out of control like they're little kids so they didn't like that one bit. Okay, so um, for number six, it says, what was the effect of British taxation on the colonists? Okay, so we know it caused a lot of problems, okay? So the effect of British taxation on the colonists um, is um, all it did was made the colonists mad, made colonists 
mad, protest, and uh, boycott British goods. Okay. So, what was the effect of Britain's taxation on the colonists? It made the colonists mad. It made them protest. Uh, and they boycotted things, British goods. Okay. So, that's the answer to that cause and effect. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, we, I think that was the last page. Let me double check. Okay. Okay. Yes, that was the last page in questions five and six. Okay, so you guys should be all caught up. Um, we're gonna talk about it during our group session uh, today, okay? So uh, I just want to know about your all your guys' opinions about you know what we're learning about in history. If you guys understand it, if it's confusing, um, any questions you have? Um, because like I said, it's a really important part of our history. It's kind of, it's the birth of our nation. So um, if it wasn't for this, we we'd still be wearing the British crown, okay? We'd, <laughs> we'd, be, we'd be part of England, so it's pretty important uh, stuff. All right, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Okay.